you know, be very gentle with a screwdriver and get in between. Hey, back all it's Ryan Erlacher here, lawbitingbiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. Today's video, real quick, we got Chewy's bike here. He's got a chrome primary cover on. He wants to black his bike out. So we got this really nice black, blacked out uh, primary cover, and we're gonna get it installed. Let's get wrenching, huh? All right, first thing Chewy's doing here is we're just gonna get rid of the uh, footboard supports here so that we have more access to the primary bolts. And there's just two bolts that he's working on under, underneath there. 5 16 Allen. All right, now Chewy's just working on that other one under, up underneath there. Just the floorboard support. All right, and you just finishing this off. It's got a 9 16 uh, wrench on the backside. There's a nut there. You can usually get it started, but then you're gonna need a wrench to get it the rest of the way off, and that's what he's working on now. Looks like he got her pop loose. It's out of our way now. We have access to all these bolts here on this primary. All right, next thing he's gonna do, because we're gonna lose all, all our oil when we take this primary cover off, so we're actually gonna drain whatever we can out of it. Right up underneath the primer is a 5 8 uh, bolt there, and that's what he's gonna work on with his wrench right now. We'll back that out. We got the oil pan underneath, of course. And we'll get the oil draining. Don't forget we have our full maintenance video, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash 2014 Harley Maintenance. Doesn't matter if it's a two ring or a Dyna or a soft tail, we got you covered in that video. Very, very popular. We'll show you how to change all the fluids, safety inspection, maintenance, filters, stuff like that, guys. All right. And we're just now, while we're working on some other stuff, we're going to let this drain. We're going to take the primary cover off next so we can get some air in here and uh, this will drain a little better. All right, now we're just taking off the derby cover, the clutch inspection cover, and these are T27s, guys, Torx 27. I'm just gonna go around and back all these off. All right, and he's just getting his last one backed out there. We'll get this clutch inspection cover off. That'll get some air up in there and this should drain better now. We're still gonna lose, there's still a bunch in there, you can only get so much out, so we're still gonna lose some. That's why we've got the big, long, that's actually a shallow uh, oil drain pan. From, it's a Harley-Davidson one. We don't buy everything Harley-Davidson, but they seem to work out really well. It allows us to take this primary cover off and drop it on it. All right, so what he's working on now is we're just going to get this heel shifter out of the way. That way we can pull this primary cover off. Just a 5 16 is what he's got there. Allen. There we go. Now we got full access to this primary cover. All right, and with a 3 16 Allen is what these are. And you can see them going around and just the tedious process of removing every single one of these. And that's what Chewy's going to be working on. All right, so on these primary bolts, just make sure when you're taking them out, you know where the long ones go and where the short ones go. You can see there's two different sizes now. These really long ones, he's going to show you, they go up front. There's basically four of them um, along the front there. Those are going to be your long ones and then your back ones are these shorter ones. So just put everything down in a parts pile and just remember where they go. You wouldn't want to try to do those backwards. All right, and with all those backed out, this primary cover is loosening. Now yours may be sealed up a little bit, so you might have to get a, you know, be very gentle with a screwdriver and get in between the actual uh, cover and the case there. But uh, it shouldn't take too much to pop it. But there you go, he's got it popped. And we've got our shallow pan and he's just gonna lay it in there now. And you can see where there's still a lot of oil in there. It's just going to take a little bit to drain all that out. Even though we drained it with a drain plug, you're still, you just can't get it all. So, all right. And we are taking the gasket off. Now, this is not a gasket you would want to reuse. Um, you'll likely get leaking if you do. They're fairly spendy, like 30 to 40 bucks for that gasket, but uh, totally worth it. Don't want to have to take this thing back off because of leaking. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you wanna make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content. All depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can assure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabitingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever want to just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it. Lawabitingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that 
weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. A ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's a law-abiding biker podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. All right, and so he's working on getting the gasket in place, the new gasket, of course. And one of the tricks, this thing's not going to want to stay. It's going to be really hard to get your cover on. So he's just using some little pieces of electrical tape. It's a little trick. And he's just uh, sticking them along the top and maybe one or two along the bottom. And then when we get the cover on and get the bolt started, we'll know it's all in place. And then we can go ahead and just grab that electrical tape and yank it out. But that's a good trick to get this thing to stay for you. Okay, and he's got his primary cover, his new blacked out one. Of course, this is why we have the gasket tape, so it's all lined up. And if you have a second pair of hands, it's always nice, but you can do it by yourself. He's just going to get a couple bolts at least finger started to hold this thing on. One of the longer ones up front, remember, the longer ones go up front there. Get one started in there, and then I'll move to the back, get one started there. There we go, so at least it'll stay on now, and now he's gonna go around and finger start all the others. All right, and remember we put that nice electrical tape? Here's the nice trick, you didn't just pop it out now. He's gonna go around and do that, and because uh, we know that gasket is in place now with all the bolts, and now he's got his T27. Now he's not gonna crank these down yet. He's just going around and basically getting them till they're seated. And you do not just wanna go counterclockwise or clockwise, guys. You can kinda of see he's going in a star pattern. The reason is we need this cover to go down level. And if you were just to start all at the back, the front's kind of going to be at an angle out and you're going to have problems getting it seated flush. So make sure you're going around and kind of doing a star pattern, so to speak, jumping around on these things. We'll crank them all down in a second. Again, he's just going around and getting them all started and seated right now. All right, so this is the actual service manual, guys. And there's a torquing sequence for these bolts once we get them all seated and we're actually torquing them down. It's 13 to 14, or excuse me, 12 to 13 foot pounds. And you can see um, the sequence there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the front, and then you're kind of moving to the back. And uh, you can just refer to this, but that's how we're gonna torque these down is following this very sequence in the service manual. All right, and just for a little more visual, when we torque them, I'm gonna count and we're gonna show you how the service manual wants it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. There you go, guys. That is the way that we're going to torque those in that exact pattern. All right, guys. And again, 12 to 13 foot-pounds. We showed you the sequence. That's what Chewy's going around and doing with a torque wrench. Um, obviously, if you don't have a torque wrench, be very careful. Don't over-tighten them. Follow the sequence. But uh, this might be one project. We don't always use a torque wrench, but this might be one you want to use one. Again, 12 to 13 foot-pounds is what we're doing, and we're going to go around in that pattern. All right, so all these are torqued down now. Come back in about 500 miles, guys, after the bike's been run, and it's been good and hot because that gasket's going to shrink and things are going to seat, and then you'll want to get your torque wrench out and just uh, recheck all those. You're probably going to find that they need to be tightened a little bit. All right, and uh, we're putting the oil drain plug in back underneath, the primary oil drain plug. He's getting that started. 5 8 inch wrench, remember? All right, and he's just tightening that down. You can torque it if you want, get your torque specifications. We're doing tighten another quarter turn, just like we do with our oil changes. And that's in now. We can fill the uh, primary up with some oil. All right, so we're just filling the primary back on. We just got a handy dandy little uh, filler there, filler funnel. And normally when you do your oil change, you're looking at 38 ounces to refill the primary because you're just doing it via the drain plug. Now, when you remove your whole uh, primary cover, you're dumping a lot more oil. You're getting everything out, so it calls for 45 ounces. And, of course, just like our maintenance video, we're replacing it with AMSOIL Synthetic 2050. We put that in all three holes. And, again, don't forget to go over and check out all our awesome for-purchase videos. Uh, we do a lot of free stuff, but we also have for-purchase videos. One of those is the maintenance, but you can go over to lawbuddingbiker.com forward slash buy videos. And over there, you'll find those and you'll find our hardy maintenance video. Okay, so we're going to go back on with the clutch cover inspection cover here. Um, his old or is the one we took off, obviously, is that one there. It's the newer style. It has the orange ring around it. Rubber. No, you don't need to replace those every time, guys. Um, we get many oil changes out of there. But we're actually, while we're doing this project, we're going on uh, with a different 
aftermarket uh, clutch cover. And uh, because it's aftermarket and machined, it's, re it's re uh, calling for the older Harley gasket. These are the older style Harley gaskets and you can see the number on it there. And so that's why we're using that. We just didn't want to confuse you. We're just kind of doing multiple projects at once here. So we're gonna get this back up on the, uh, and get it bolted in here. All right, and so just one of the tricks here is he's just getting a couple bolts through. That way that gasket will stay in place if you're using this older style. Then he's gonna set it up there now and at least he knows his gasket's gonna be in the correct position. And he'll just get those fingers started. So all Chewy's doing right now is getting all these started. It's a Torx 27 wrench. He's just seating him. He's not tightening these down yet, guys. Just going around, getting them all started. So on these guys, same thing. You wouldn't want to just go around clockwise or counterclockwise and crank them all down. We've got them all seated. You want to do a star pattern. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the sequence that we're going to tighten these in. He's got his torque wrench set to 84 to 108 inch pounds on this. This is one we do use a torque wrench on. We hardly ever use torque wrenches, but these get stripped out a lot and guys over tighten them and then they can't get them off and then they strip them out. So check your specifications, but for this year bike, it's uh, 84 to 108 inch pounds and that's what he's doing. All right, and Chewy's just working on getting his floorboard back on now. You see that awesome law abiding biker t-shirt you guys want to get hooked up with one of those head over to lawbitingbiker.com forward slash store got a whole bunch of stuff over there for you guys t-shirts and mechanic shirts and mugs and then of course our cell phone uh, biker gripper cell phone motorcycle mounts and headsets and all kinds of stuff but he's just going to get this back in place he's just finishing this off don't forget it's got the nut on the back side crank it down get your torque specs if that's how you want to roll we're just going to crank it down, get it tight, another quarter turn. Now he's going to work on the back post. And there you go, guys. One successfully installed. Uh, black, blacked out primary cover. Wrench to finish it off. And then once we get the cover on, he can yank. Hang on, take two. And he's getting that all lined up. And of course, this is the... Oh, Take two and action. All right, and remember we um, we're looking at uh, standby. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also, sign up for the free email club, lawbitingbiker.com/email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Lawbiting Biker podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.